So the first thing I have over here is dropping the thinking mind. Yeah, when we do focusing, uh, when I do focusing, I notice that people uh, think too much. Uh, they're always thinking, thinking, thinking. So when somebody comes up for a demonstration, they, they think that they must have a problem to work with. And so they go to find a problem. And that's already thinking too hard, you know. And then they have to, they think that they must find a felt sense. And that too is too much thinking. So one of the things that um, is very interesting in meditation is in mindfulness is to stop, is to drop the thinking mind and just be aware is what they say. For example, just becoming aware of the air coming in, the air going out. Usually we use the nose uh, for breathing. So air coming in the nose, air going out of the nose. Instead of saying, I am exhaling or I am inhaling, it's, then it's me, me, me. So forget the me, just the air coming in or air going out. Or sitting it is also like that. Um, People think you have to sit properly, but that's the thought, you know. So instead of thinking that you have to sit properly, uh, you might bring your attention to your sit bones, uh, on both of your hips on the left and right, and see if your weight is balanced well on both of your sit bones. And when it is, you'll notice that you're in pretty good posture. So you don't think these things. It just, you bring your awareness to your weight, your sit bones. And you don't have to think for something to focus on. You just wait for a thought to come. Or we might say, if no thoughts come, to you for let's say 20 minutes, then actually you're doing a fantastic meditation. So when we have a demonstration today, the focuser doesn't have to come up with anything. If no thoughts come, that's beautiful. So um, you don't have to think you have to do something. But uh, most people will have a thought come to them. Uh, and then the point is to become aware that such a thought is there. Then wonder who is thinking this. So behind each thought there is a felt sense. So use imagery and try to personify this as a self. What does the self look like? How old is the self? What is he or she dressed like? And what is the self, this self trying to tell you? So listen and try to see what this self is telling you. Uh, thank it for telling you this or send compassion to it. Uh, by compassion, I mean we might use the very typical word we use in mindfulness. So, may I be well and happy. May I be at peace. Because a lot of people don't say this, you know, they, they don't feel this. Uh, may I be well and happy. They think that I should do better, you know, and uh, it shouldn't be like this. I, sh I should be better. I could do better. So, instead of that, May I be well and happy. Uh, the point is uh, not to fight with anything that comes to you. To, to be at peace with all the selves that come to you. 
So observe the changes happening to you as you thank the self or as you send compassion to the self. And then come back to the air coming in, air going out. And sit there for a while until another thought process comes. And we'll do the same thing again. Um, the point of this is a little bit different from the experiencing model, okay? Uh, there is more of an essence of uh, clearing a space, is to find the space um, and to look at all the selves that you are from a space. So, uh, I like to show this to you as a demonstration. And uh, to, we have uh, Wendy today who would be helping us with the demonstration. Uh, is Wendy here? Hello. All right, there you are. Hi, Akira. Hi, how are you, Wendy? I'm okay, how are you? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so today we're going to be uh, doing conga focusing. And uh, that is to look at the self behind each thought that comes to you. And to be thankful and compassionate to the many selves that are in you. Okay, so I'd like to demonstrate this with you. Um, should be, let's say 20 minutes, and then we can discuss later about it. Okay, are you all set? Yeah. So first we'd like to start uh, like uh, mindful sitting. So one thing that we do is, uh, Try to see where your weight is on your sits bones. Yeah, you see a lot of monks going like this. And trying to find a point of balance where your weight is equally distributed on your left and right sits bones. Okay, and rotate a little bit um, forward and backwards to feel, to find a place that feels right for you. Okay. I found it. Okay. Now, come aware of the air coming in through your nose. And the air going out of your nose. You'll notice that when the air comes in, your chest and abdomen rises. And the air goes out, chest and abdomen falls. So you might use the expression rising and falling quietly to yourself when you notice the rising and falling of your chest and abdomen.
So now if you can sit for 20 minutes just attending to the rising and falling, that's beautiful meditation. But if some thought comes to you, we'll work with that, so let me know. I think the first thoughts that are coming. Yeah. Um, feels like I'm thinking about how um, how much air I'm taking in. It's like there's a thought that like it doesn't feel like as much air as I can get. Like it's it's uh, shallower. Okay. It, um, than I would expect it to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then be aware that you're thinking that your breathing is shallower than you would want it to be. Mm -hmm. And then think. Who is it that has this thought? I see you smile a little bit. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm I'm kind of noticing what this uh, kind of self is like. Yeah. Um, and it's like, I'm seeing myself um, it's kind of like, uh, she's like a hostess, you know, trying to like straighten things up. Like, you know, it has to be, uh, it has to be just like, just, just so, you know, trying to check about, you know, even, mm even um, as if she's checking to see if the me that's in this chair is, is comfortable enough, you know, like does she have, you know, or is the, is the seat high enough, you know, are the arms <laughs> right, you know, does she need something else, you know, so it's like this uh, slightly nervous, concerned hostess kind of. Okay. So this is a slightly nervous, concerned hostess that's trying to check if your seat is all right and everything is all right. Mm. Mm. So be aware that there is this kind of self in me. It's like a what I'm noticing about the self is that it's, it's as though she's uh, concerned about her guests or her others, you know, but she's not, she's not settling down. Like she's still, oh, she's still standing yeah. up or kind of almost not fully standing, just yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. clearing off the table or some little like movement uh, that is, um, so she's more concerned with others or the well-being of others than of herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so notice that that's there. And um, thank this hostess for this. because this is also a part of you. Yeah. Mm. And you can send compassion if you want to. A 
As I'm thanking the self, it's like mm. I'm uh, feeling thankful almost to like Wendy at 8.30, you know, kind of making sure I had something comfortable to wear and mm -hmm. all the things, um, you know, I did for myself, mm -hmm. um, you know, so that I could be present now. So right. I'm noticing that. So you're thanking this hostess to um, get you um, prepared to to come to this today, this morning, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> and if you're ready, we can go back to the breathing, mm -hmm. the air coming in and air going out. Rising and falling. Mm -hmm. I have another thought that's coming and it's um, it's like uh, thinking about uh, just um, this shared space, like thinking about um, people who are here, like people I don't know and people I do know just uh, sensing the kind of curiosity mm -hmm. um, about the shared space, like the attendees and mm -hmm. yeah, just uh, wondering kind of like imagining everybody uh, watching the screen and stuff. Right, so it's a kind of a curiosity is it? Uh, yeah, it's curiosity and uh, something about like uh, something about like a connection, like um, yeah, it's like just a. Uh, It's, it's, a, it's a thought that comes, it's like, um, there's, a, there's a very, like, uh, it's kind of intense, like, just to imagine how um, there's different people all over the world present mm. with us. Kind of intense. Yeah, okay. So there's a, a kind of a intense, overwhelming kind of sense there? Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, if it's overwhelming, it's like, uh, it's like overwhelming in a way that's like, it's almost like magical, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I know it's like technology, but it's also, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is possible, kind of? Yeah, like. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so be aware that there is that kind of self there that's so amazed by the technology. And what I really this image of the self it surprised me just now yeah um, it's like it's like a little kid i feel like i'm a little kid kind of like looking behind the curtain uh, 
like right. being behind the fourth wall, kind of like she's <laughs> she's peeking like. <laughs> oh, it's a he. It's a it's a she. Like she's she's she. kind of peeking like a maybe like four or five years old. Oh, okay. So it's she, a uh, four or five year old girl that's peeking from behind the curtain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So be aware of that. Mm. Noticing. Is she, oh, is she telling you something? Sorry. She's telling me something. She's kind of um. She's a little bit mischievous. Like she mm -hmm. kind of knows. Like mm -hmm. that if somebody sees her looking, mm -hmm. he'll be it'll be okay, like she won't get in trouble or, you know, she won't be scolded, you know, she's kind of like, um, uh, she knows also, um, she's, she's uh, well behaved enough, you know, to know that she's not doing, um, she's not going to do something like, out of line, so she's kind of um, she's kind of like, yeah, a little bit mischievous, uh, but also feeling safe. That's very really interesting. That she has a feeling of being mischievous, but being okay. Yeah. She's behaved enough. She's well behaved, but she's mischievous. <laughs> All right. Okay, maybe we might thank this part for being there. And maybe send the words of compassion to her. Yes. I see you smile. How's she doing? I think um, the way she receives the uh, gratitude um, is uh, like this very childlike kind of like, you know, <laughs> like, mm. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like I'm proud of her. Oh, mm hmm So be aware of that, you're proud of her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can we come back to uh, breathing? Okay. This thought that's coming, it's kind of vague, um, but it's something about like time. Mm -hmm. It's about like uh, time um, passing, you know, sort of um, even something about like wishing this was a longer time, the whole the whole experience, you know, there's something about um, 
oh, like maybe it's something like uh, two hours isn't enough or um, <laughs> wanting more, you know, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So about this session here, mm -hmm. feeling that you're wanting more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so be aware of that, that you are wanting more of this. Then do you have an image of that self that's wanting more of this? Hmm. Yeah, it's like a, um, kind of imagining like a, a version of myself that is like, a, really um so so like kind of relaxed like lying down in the grass in like a sunny meadow like mm -hmm. and actually like i'm seeing myself as like more chubby like <laughs> more chubby yeah uh, kind of like <laughs> like a like a like a comfortable like fat cat kind of like uh -huh. <laughs> just uh but i'm like a person but um yeah it's like uh oh we could just stay here all day <laughs> <laughs> okay all right yeah and uh she's like um i think she's she knows that like she knows that there's like time passes, you know, she knows that like the weekend comes to an end and, mm -hmm. you know, the time in the meadow comes to an end, the sun mm -hmm. goes down, like she knows all of these things. And so there's something about her that's like, uh, like kind of um, pretending, you know, kind of like, let's just pretend that we can just lay like <laughs> all forever you know like but okay, she yeah, knows yeah. not like forever okay so be aware of that that there is that kind of self there that's a little chubby and in the meadow and not worried about time passing yeah. is she telling you something well, I think she's telling me like um, that she is like, it's a little bit of like mixed in together, like sad that she can't lay in the meadow all day, like sad that she knows she can't stop time and also <laughs> kind of like almost like determined to like be as connected with the ground as possible to like feel the sun as much as possible almost like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she's not um she's not unaware that time passes and that like the time oh, I see. but she's uh and she's sad about that but also mm, mm, mm. wants to make it like mm, 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 wants mm, to enjoy mm. it yeah okay mm -hmm. she knows that time is going to pass but she's a little bit i don't know defiant or she's a little bit like not stubborn, but she's mm. trying to be there as long as she, yeah. she wants. Yeah, yeah. And you know, there is a little bit of stubbornness too. It's a little bit like, yeah. like <laughs> planted <laughs> kind of, but like stubborn, but also, <laughs> and stubborn and defiant, but also like sad because and sad, and sad. Yeah, it's just uh, 
Okay. That's, that's how time passes, you know, it keeps going. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. she doesn't mm -hmm. have that power. So yeah, it's like mm -hmm. mixed in together, like this, mm -hmm. the sort of like, I am determined to make the most of this mm -hmm. relax time. Mm -hmm. And I'm uh -huh. so going to notice the time passing. Oh. But I'm, I'm getting, uh, uh, just, just what I got is that she's aware of uh, impermanence that, you know, time will pass. Mm. And she's a little bit sad about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so be aware of that. And send her um, compassion. May I be well and happy. And may I be at peace. Right. How are you doing now? Well, it's uh, it's almost as I'm in the offering that compassion and recognizing like how that scene is like the scene of where she's at. This other thought starts to make itself known, and it's sort of a. It implies a next step in a way because the thought is like, I really like being outside and mm. really have not been in the practice of being outside. So that thought is already showing up. Okay, so there's another thought there that you haven't been outside and you really want to be outside. Mm. Okay, so be aware of that and thank that part for reminding you of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like she's outside and so she's like, yeah, like this feels good, remember? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Can I ask you, is, is it um, the uh, corona thing that um, makes it difficult for you to have the opportunity to go out in the sun? Partly, yeah. I think, um, I think especially, uh, yeah. And yeah. Um, the, something I did yesterday, which I hadn't done yet until mm. throughout corona times, like I spent, like three hours sitting outside with my mm -hmm. friend mm -hmm. she came and she had her beach chair and i had my mm -hmm. beach chair and we sat on the beach like six Great. feet apart and apart, yeah. uh it was it was good conditions to be outside um yeah. and I felt so uh, nourished by that. And at the mm -hmm. same time, part of the experience was noticing like people nearby, you know, like, are they, are they not being careful and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. present at the same time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, getting back to that part um, of you that's wanting to be out in the sun, and I'm a little bit conscious of time, so um, <laughs> it's really weird to talk about time with this self of yours that's conscious of time. But I think the time is coming up. If you can bring yourself back to the air coming in and air going out of your nose.
Okay. When you're ready, we can end the session. Ready. Okay. So thank, thank you. Thank you, Akira. This was such yeah. an amazing experience, such a great opportunity. I thank you for it. Yes, it was very moving. <laughs> right. Okay, okay, so now... Should we...